Hey guys, it's me. So, welcome to the world's most simplest and horribly produced Amiga YouTube channel. I am sitting here in an empty room with my M1 Mac laptop running FSUAE. And I wanted to do this because some people were asking, is this possible if I upgrade my Mac to the new Apple Silicone, am, am I going to be left in the in the woods by myself, surrounded by angry wolves that are about to devour me? No, it's not true. The M1 Mac with its Rosetta 2 option, you can install FSUAE and it runs beautifully. As you can see here, I've installed Workbench 3.1. I did a basic uh, Amiga 1200. 68020 FPU 8 meg setup. It works great. I haven't encountered any issues. Um, I apologize for all the echo. I, again, I am, uh, as some of you may know who watch my channel, I'm currently moving across the country. So I'm kind of in a mobile weird state right now. So I'm in a big empty room. It's kind of creepy. Um, I'm glad you guys aren't here with me because you probably kind of freaked out. But as you can see, I did an NTSC install because, you know, I'm 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 a Yankee, so we do we do NTSC. But yeah, so this is an M1 MacBook Air with 16 gigs of RAM and a 512 gig uh, you know, I don't what, do we call it hard drives or SSDs or M I don't know what that whatever Apple calls it, that's what it's got. And it runs beautifully. It runs great. I've I've, uh, I was able to install Workbench 3.1 using FSUAE, the latest version. And as you can see there, not logged in, it's working fantastic. And it doesn't seem to be causing any kind of crazy triggers or weirdness in uh, the M1 Mac. So yeah, if you're going to jump on board to the new Apple train with their new M1 chips, you don't have to worry about leaving your emulated Amiga stuff behind. Uh, until until the guys over at the FSUAE can update their code to run natively with the ARM stuff, which hopefully they can. I mean, I know it's a big deal, especially the, the JIT stuff was going to be a major undertaking. Uh, it doesn't really matter. The Rosetta 2 stuff with FSUAE is working great. Now, this is a big, big point I should make. Rosetta 2 is not going to be here forever. At some point, Apple will discontinue Rosetta support. Probably not for at least a couple years. Probably looking around two years based on, on what they did before when they transitioned from PowerPC to Intel. So just know that while FSUE does run great uh, on these M1 Macs, uh, eventually Rosetta is going to go away and all of this will stop working. So FSUAE has got about two years to make sure they figure out how to make a native Apple Silicon version of their software. Now, I could be speaking out of my butt on this. Maybe FSUAE has already talked about supporting M1 Max native. And I apologize if I'm getting that wrong. But I'm just saying, uh, right now, as it stands, you know, this works, but... Once Apple discontinues Rosetta, this is not going to work anymore. You won't be able to launch your Amiga emulation. So hopefully FSUAE guys are working on getting uh, this emulation running on Apple native silicon with JIT support. This emulation I'm showing you right now is not using JIT support. So like if I go to prefs and let's see, let's go to screen mode. And I drag this up to like, you know, 256 and hit use. Yeah, you know, eh, you know, it wasn't too bad, but I mean, it's not, yeah, I mean, there, there, there's some lag there for sure. You can see it. It's not terrible, but again, that's a testament to these M1 Macs. They're actually really, really good. It's uh, kind of impressive, honestly. I was kind of like freaked out how good this was. So this is actually pretty good. So I don't know, maybe the FSUAE guys don't even need to bother with JIT support because the regular emulation seems to be pretty darn livable? I don't know. I wish I could run something, but I can't. You know why, guys? 
because I'm on the road and I don't have any of my files. In fact, the only reason I was able to install this is because I had an old email that contained a zip file of my legally purchased Amiga ROMs and some workbench disks that I imaged myself. Unfortunately, I didn't image any of my other files, so I'm just kind of stuck here with a uh, workbench and I can't test anything while I'm on the road. But I did want to show you guys that were wondering, will FSUAE work on an M1 Mac once you install Rosetta? And I can say, yes, it, it does work. There's, there's no weirdness, there's no hangs, there's system slowdowns or anything. It just, it all seems to just work just fine. So, all right guys, sorry for the weird short video and the crappy audio echo quality, but I'm on the road moving across the country. Thank you and goodbye.